If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Sometimes businesses want to vary an item's price when selling the item to different customer types. For example, you may charge different rates to residential customers versus commercial customers. You can associate price levels with specific customers, so each time you create a sales form for that customer, QuickBooks will then use the appropriate price level when calculating rates and amounts for line items within sales forms for the selected customer. You can also associate price levels with specific line items in a sales form if desired. Using this method, you are only discounting specific items in a sales form, not all items for a specific customer or type of customer. Price levels make it easy to use different line item rates within sales forms without having to calculate percentage amounts manually. Price levels can affect amounts for service, inventory, and non-inventory part items only. Also note that price levels are, however, only a feature of QuickBooks Desktop Pro or QuickBooks Premier. In QuickBooks Desktop Pro, you can only set price level discounts as a flat percentage. If using the QuickBooks Premier version, however, you can set price levels for various quantities of individual items if preferred. In this lesson, we will examine how to create basic price levels in QuickBooks Desktop Pro. To access and create price levels, open the price level list. You can do this by selecting Lists, Price Level List from the menu bar to open the Price Level List window. To create a new price level, click the Price Level button in the lower left corner of the Price Level List window, and then select the New command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the New Price Level window where you enter the price level's information. Enter a name for the new price level into the Price Level Name field. Use the drop-down to the right of the This Price Level Will label to select either Decrease or Increase. Then enter the percentage by which to increase or decrease item prices into the field to the right of the label. You can use the Round Up to Nearest drop-down to select how to round the pricing that is calculated. After setting the price level, click the OK button to add it into the price level list. You can select an entry made within the price level list, and then click the Price Level button in the lower left corner of the window to edit or delete your entries by selecting the Desired command from the pop-up menu that appears. After creating the price levels, you can either assign them to specific customers to apply a selected price level to all future sales for the customer by default, or you can manually apply price levels to specific line items in sales forms as the need arises. You can apply a default price level to any customer when using the Edit Customer or New Customer windows. In either window, select the Payment Settings tab, and then use the Price Level drop-down to select a default price level to associate with this customer's sales. Then click the OK button to set the price level for the customer. When you later create a sales form for this customer, and select items within the Line Item area of the sales form, that customer's price level will be automatically calculated and applied. Also, notice that after you have created price levels, you can then use the Rate drop-down that appears within the Rate column in the Line Item area in sales forms to select a price level on a per line item basis if needed. This allows you to manually set a pricing level for selected items in a sales form regardless of the customer's price level. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.